Duladala or Soul Land. Chapter 33 to Chapter 35. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 33. Meng Yiran also uses hidden weapons? Part 1. Although Tang San was impatient to save Xiao Wu, he still hasn't lost his mind. He knew he needed to recover to a certain degree before he could absorb the spirit ring in front of him. Now, he has no time to care about any possible danger anymore. Sitting there, he breathed heavily, getting a bit of much needed rest, then cultivated to recover some spirit power. At this moment, the thing Tang San worried about the most happened. As the man faced demon spider's spirit ring slowly appeared above its corpse, three unexpected guests flashed out of the forest. Though it wasn't the most dangerous case, a strong spirit beast, but when Tang San saw the three people, he couldn't help but feel his heart sink. Of the three spirit masters, Tang San recognized two of them. These two were the people that just left not long ago, serpent grandmother Chao Tianxian and the beautiful young girl Ming Yiran. And beside them stood a third person, a tall and skinny elder. The elder looked at least over 70, with a head of silver hair just like Chao Tianxian. In his hand was a light silver dragon-headed staff over four meters long. The dragon head of the staff was lifelike, appearing extravagant and intricate. A face covered with wrinkles showed his age. On him was unbelievably eight spirit rings oscillating up and down slowly. Two yellow, three purple, three black. Although judging by quality, he only had 1,000 year spirit ring advantage on Zhao Wuji, he had eight spirit rings. This meant he was a rank 80 and above spirit Dolawa. No need to ask, Tang San knew who this person was. He was serpent grandmother's husband, Meng Yiran's grandfather, Dragon Duke Meng Shu. The entire family of three was finally together. Dragon Duke didn't even need to release his spirit power. Merely with the eight spirit rings, Tang San felt like he couldn't breath. Even if Zhao Wuji and everyone else were all there, they would still be at an absolute disadvantage. The unrivaled dragon serpent family didn't notice the cultivating Tang San at first. Their attention fell onto the dead man faced demon spider first, and instantly their faces became twisted. Meng Yiran even shouted out loud. No, how is it like this? Why, why? Who? Who killed my demon spider? Meng Yiran had changed into a tight green outfit and looked heroic, but Tang San wasn't in the mood to appreciate that. Hearing Meng Yiran, he couldn't help but smile bitterly in the dark. How could coincidences be that untimely? Some things might not happen in your entire life, but when fate decides to play with you, it can happen twice in a short period of time. Of course, Tang San wouldn't hope that the family couldn't find him. With the Dragon Duke's spirit power, he only needed to slightly pay attention to hear Tang San's breathing, or even heartbeat. Running was definitely not an option, and Tang San didn't plan to run either. Real men dare to admit what they do. 1. I killed it. This moment, his stamina had recovered slightly. Holding the tree beside him, he managed to stand up. Tang San's voice instantly attracted the unrivaled dragon serpent family. Meng Yiran saw the unkempt Tang San. At first she didn't recognize him, but then tears started circling in her eyes. You, 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 again it's you. Tang San smiled wryly. I don't know why coincidences like this happen, but this time it truly is me again. Was this man faced demon spider your prey as well? Meng Yiran still stared at Tang San, her entire face growing bright red, obviously angry to the extreme. Seeing Tang San, Serpent Grandmother also frowned, whispering something into the Dragon Duke's ears. Right after, Tang San saw the Dragon Duke's eyes. Dragon Duke appeared to be old, but his eyes were unbelievably bright. Tang San had never seen such bright eyes. From where he was standing to where the Dragon Duke was, there was at least 30 meters, but the Dragon Duke made him feel like they were but see you and apart. You are Tang San? Dragon Duke Meng Shu said coldly. His voice sounded very clear, not a bit like an old man. Tang San nodded. Then do you know, to kill this man faced demon spider, we've already been chasing for an entire day. If not for its annoying spider webs, it would have already become Iran's spirit ring. Man faced demon spiders are very scarce, because it isn't welcomed by any other spirit beast. Even in the Star Do Great Forest, it is rarely seen, a lot more valuable than a phoenix tail crest serpent. Tang San's face had lost all its color, but he didn't show any sign of fear. He indifferently said, I know everything you said. But, I had to defend myself. If a man faced demon spider suddenly appeared in front of me, are you saying I should stand still and let it kill me? Meng Shu frowned. You are saying, you killed this man faced demon spider by yourself? Tang San nodded. Dragon Duke and Serpent Grandmother looked at each other, both seeing the astonishment in each other's eyes. Even though the man faced demon spider isn't an overly powerful spirit beast, in the thousand year category, its attack power is definitely ranked very high. Though it didn't have its spider webs, with its attack and defense capabilities, it still was slain by the twelve year old in front of them. How this happened was truly beyond the old couple. Serpent Grandmother's impression of Tang San was already high, but she couldn't help but to raise her impression even more. Before, when Meng Yiran lost to Tang San, she didn't think much about it. But now she realized her granddaughter really wasn't this child's worthy enemy. Dragon Duke Meng Shu's dragon-headed staff flicked upwards, a stream of white spirit power thrown out of the butt of the staff, flipping over the man-faced demon spider. He saw the damaged eyes immediately, and couldn't help but nod in his mind. Though he didn't know how Tang San did it, from the fact that Tang San could attack this man-faced demon spider's weakness, he could tell the child's ability to remain calm in front of strong enemies. Looking at Tang San again, Meng Shu couldn't help but show some of his admiration. Grandfather, you have to stand on my side on this. Meng Yiran was only 16 years old after all. 
Seeing another strong spirit ring stolen, especially by the same person, how could she possibly keep her anger in? Meng Shu patted his granddaughter on her head, gesturing her to not worry. Looking up at Tang San, he said. Tang San, I'll give you two choices. I, Dragon Duke Meng Shu, have been going around the spirit master world for a long time, and I'm not unreasonable. Against a man-faced demon spider, anyone has to protect themselves, so killing it is within reason. But, the two times you stopped my granddaughter from getting a spirit ring isn't going to be over just like that. Tang San was trying hard to recover his stamina and spirit power, while lightly fiddling with the Qi Long black box in his hand. This black box wasn't only fireable once. In the entire box were 48 arrows, so it could be fired three times, but every time you need to reattach the elastics. In Tang San's previous life, this unnoticeable black box was very famous. It had a name that everyone knew well godly Zhuga crossbow. The rectangular black box had 16 holes on one side, and it could simultaneously shoot out 16 crossbow arrows with no tails. Within 50 meters, it could strike through gold and rock, extremely potent. In the past, Tang sect once displeased another clan. When they sent people to their clan to fight, not even the inner sect students came out. With only a hundred outer sect students each holding a godly Zhuga crossbow, they easily slaughtered all the enemies, leaving no one alive. After that, the name of the godly Zhuga crossbow became widespread. Among all mechanism-type hidden weapons, other than the top Buddha Fury Tang Lotus, Torrential Rain Pear Blossom Needle, Peacock Tail Feathers and other rare ones, the godly Zhuga crossbow in Tang San's hand was the strongest. Tang San of course knew, the godly Zhuga crossbow was not enough to be a threat to the Dragon Duke or the Serpent Grandmother, but it wasn't something that Meng Iran could block. He already thought everything through. If they wanted to push him too much, he could always use this hidden weapon to bring someone down with him. What are the two choices you give me, elders? Tang San asked indifferently. The godly Zhuga crossbow in his hands was almost ready. He only had to lengthen the conversation a moment longer before he could have the chance to fight before he dies. Not to say, he still had a lot of other hidden weapons on him. If they wanted to kill him, it wouldn't be easy. Meng Shu said. My choices for you are very simple. First choice, you join our family and become one of our family members. As you will be our family, the fact that you stopped Iran from getting a spirit ring and wasting this precious man-faced demon spider's spirit ring will be forgiven. Joining the family? It sounded simple, but if he really joined, then it would be a lifetime commitment. For any spirit master, the moment they join a family, they could never betray them. They had to become a part of the family. Everything you do after that in your life will be restricted by that family. Of course, spirit masters that join big families were treated very well. There were exceptions of course, but the precondition was that you had to be powerful to a certain degree. With Tang San's current situation, if he joined a family, then he would forever be only a person of that family. Meng Shu fancied Tang San's talent. Prodigies such as Tang San were very rare. Tang San shook his head. Sorry, Elder. I'm used to being free, I don't like being restricted. And there is one part of what you said that was mistaken. Though the man-faced demon spider was killed by me, its spirit ring won't be wasted. If not for you appearing, I might have already started to absorb the ring. Part 2 What? Serpent grandmother Chao Tianxiang cried out in alarm, her gaze at Tang San immediately becoming strange. At the same time quietly using her hand to touch her husband once. Unrivaled dragon serpent had been together for several decades, Meng Shu naturally understood his wife's meaning. Tang San, surely you also understand, if it is without my approval, it will be impossible for you to absorb this man-faced demon spider spirit ring. Meng Shu spoke indifferently. Although his tone didn't vary much, the vaguely revealed killing intent still greatly increased the pressure on Tang San. Tang San said. If it is like that, this man-faced demon spider spirit ring truly will have been wasted. Meng Shu said. To us, such a good spirit ring, even if it's wasted, we still wouldn't easily give it to an outsider to absorb, in this spirit master realm, this in itself is already a kind of unwritten rule. If you join my clan, I will not only let you absorb the spirit ring, but can still protect you. How about it? With the Dragon Duke's position, twice inviting Tang San in succession, could already be considered good-natured, he and Serpent Grandmother really were taken with Tang San's talent. After all this child was now still young, his future prospects would basically be immeasurable. Tang San suddenly spoke up. Having me join your family still isn't impossible. But you must promise me one thing. Meng Shu's brows creased. What conditions are you qualified to put to us right now? Chao Tianxiang again touched her husband once, scrambling to say. What condition, say it? In Tang San's eyes showed a sad expression. Previously we came across a formidable spirit beast, it snatched my companion. If the two seniors are able to help me retrieve my companion, I promise to join your clan. If my friend is dead, then I ask the two seniors to help me take revenge. Only killing a spirit beast? Meng Shu somewhat surprised looked at Tang San. Chao Tianxiang's mind was a bit more careful than her husband's. Was Zhao Wuji not together with you? Don't tell me that he also was unable to stop that spirit beast? Tang San nodded. Meng Shu snorted disdainfully. Zhao Wuji being unable to defeat it doesn't mean I also won't be able to. Let alone us together, in this Star Do Great Forest, are there any kinds of spirit beasts able to contend with us? Tang San, what kind of spirit beast was that? Tang San eagerly said. It's a titan giant ape. It's roughly over the 10,000 year level. Meng Shu was the highest level spirit master he had ever met. If he agreed to act in saving Xiaowu, then naturally it would be much easier than him saving Xiaowu. 
How could Tang San agree to let an opportunity like this slip by? But when the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife heard the three words Titan Giant Ape, the two simultaneously stiffened at once. The strong disdain in Meng Xu's eyes faded away. With a somewhat awkward expression, Chao Tianxian frowned even greater, shaking her head with a sigh, her words making Tang San extremely disappointed. That's impossible for us. With the two senior strength, don't tell me it's still impossible to deal with that Titan Giant Ape? Tang San eagerly said. Meng Xu snapped. What do you understand, the Titan Giant Ape is a different kind of ancient, great strength, let alone us, even a title Dolawa wouldn't dare speak of obtaining victory. Furthermore, according to what I know, in this star Do Great Forest there is only one Titan Giant Ape. Its cultivation age can't be as simple as 10,000 years, until this day it has at least surpassed 60,000 years cultivation. It's truly the overlord of this forest. Moreover, the Titan Giant Ape still has an even more terrifying elder brother. Unless it was the title Dolawa of both great empires assembled here, otherwise, who would dare speak of killing them? Chao Tianxiang said towards Meng Shu. Old codger, we must also leave immediately. Didn't expect a titan giant ape to appear in the outskirts now. This could not be a good omen. However, it would appear its mood isn't bad, without even massacring spirit masters. Otherwise, Tang San this kid also could not stand alive before us. The unrivaled dragon serpent clearly understood the star Do Great Forest even more than Zhao Wuji, Tang San also knew with his status it was basically impossible to cheat them. But Meng Xu's words also made him approach despair. His estimation of the titan giant ape was very high, but hearing what Meng Xu knew, his estimation was still insufficient. That titan giant ape compared to his imagination was even more formidable. Furthermore unexpectedly still had a compared to it still more difficult to deal with brother, requiring all the title Dolawa to have the capability to kill them. How this couldn't be equivalent to giving Xiao Wu a death sentence, right now Tang San didn't understand why such a formidable spirit beast would unexpectedly appear in the outskirts of Star Do Great Forest. Regarding him being unable to deal with the titan giant ape, Dragon Duke Meng Shu seemed somewhat resentful. Kid, don't you blame the titan giant ape to make fun of me. I don't have the time to waste with you. If you join my family, I will help you absorb the spirit ring. Otherwise, you can only pick the second option, leave behind one arm as compensation for my granddaughter, and you can leave. Tang San sobered from his despondency, raising his head towards the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife, he deeply knew, the difference between him and the other side was really too far, even without speaking of the other side's seniority. But at this very moment, in his heart stubbornness had already risen, he was also unwilling to compromise at this point. Slowly raising the Juga soul crossbow. Since you can't help me accomplish my wish of returning Xiaowu, I naturally also can't join your clan. If you want my arm, you come and take it. Although his spirit power hadn't recovered, Tang San had already regained a bit of physical strength. At least launching a mechanism-type hidden weapon was no problem. Meng Xu didn't expect a minor spirit grandmaster to dare disobey him. The dragon head cane in his hand stomped on the ground, issuing a rumble like an earthquake. If Tang San wasn't leaning his back against a tree, perhaps he would directly have collapsed from the powerful spirit power. Since you want to die, I will let you accomplish it. Meng Xu's eyes were filled with killing intent. Since such a talented youngster couldn't be useful to him, then, it also wasn't necessary for him to stay in this world. At the moment Dragon Duke prepared to launch his attack, suddenly, a deep hoarse voice echoed. Senior Dragon Duke, do not be too strict. A line of silhouettes quickly arrived, in the lead, was precisely motionless bright King Zhao Wuji, behind Zhao Wuji, the Shrek students swiftly arrived, each and every one appeared somewhat tired. In order to look for Tang San's trail, they had all along not rested. Previously the man-faced demon spider's strict cry which had drawn the pursuing unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife in the vicinity, also gave them a direction. But because they were too far away, they couldn't directly find it. Dragon Duke's cane striking the ground finally once again showed them the way, and Zhao Wuji brought the group to swiftly rush over. Seeing his comrades arrive, Tang San's mind immediately relaxed somewhat, body in a moment almost falling. Fortunately Dai Mubai swiftly reached his side and supported him, just enough to keep him from falling. In the fight with the titan giant ape Tang San's injuries had not been light, although he had eaten a recovery sausage, he still had not healed completely, adding the consumption of the rush journey, as well as the battle of wits and bravery when dealing with the man-faced demon spider, one could say his spirit power and physical strength were completely drained. If he wasn't for the support of his willpower, he might have collapsed long ago. Oscar also hastily ran over, directly handing Tang San two fresh sausages to eat. The recovery sausages warmth diffusing in chest and stomach, Tang San immediately felt much more comfortable. Along with Oscar advancing to the spirit elder realm, the effect of his recovery sausage also improved somewhat, although with two in his stomach spirit power recovery did not stack, regarding physical strength recovery the support would nevertheless be much greater than with one. On seeing Zhao Wuji appear, Dragon Duke Meng Xu's facial expression did not alter at all, the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife pair were both there, naturally would not fear Zhao Wuji alone. Seeing the dragon head cane in Meng Xu's hand, Zhao Wuji was also secretly grumbling, especially those eight spirit rings, had a great shocking effect to him. Before he already used spirit avatar once, right now he only had 50% of his peak condition. Let alone Meng Xu, even if it was just serpent grandmother Zhao Tianxiang, he still wouldn't be able to handle her. This must be senior Dragon Duke, it is an honor to junior generation Zhao Wuji to meet you. What is called an outstretched hand will not strike a smiling face, Meng Xu glanced at Zhao Wuji. Motionless bright king, there is no need to stand on ceremony. Do you not teach your disciple, nobody bullies our Meng family? Not content with the phoenix tail crest serpent, your disciple also killed my granddaughter's prey the man-faced demon spider, shouldn't you give me an explanation? 
Zhao Wuji said. Senior, I see there has been a misunderstanding. Furthermore, although I am these children's teacher, Tang San can't be considered my disciple, his master is someone else, I dare not take credit. Eh? Meng Xu looked blank a moment, in his heart secretly trembling. Thinking to himself, that youngster called Tang San strength, is this astonishing, then wouldn't his master be? Zhao Wuji was somewhat shrewd, immediately saw the hesitant expression on Meng Xu's face, quickly saying. Dragon Duke Senior, is it possible to speak a step away? Meng Xu's brows knitted minutely, but still nodded once, right now he held the overwhelming advantage, naturally he wouldn't fear any plot of Zhao Wuji's. The dragon head cane poked the ground, already carried him 20 meters distant. Zhao Wuji hurriedly followed, saying something to Dragon Duke in a low voice. Just in the beginning Meng Xu's face displayed an extremely astonished expression, gradually, his complexion looked somewhat unsightly. Zhao Wuji's expression on the contrary was very serene and polite, in a moment, the two had already finished their conversation. Meng Xu walked back to his wife and granddaughter, saying several sentences to Serpent Grandmother in a low voice. Serpent Grandmother showed an equally astonished expression, as the old husband and wife pair's gazes once again shifted to Tang San they already became somewhat different. But all this, naturally also fell into Tang San's eyes. Part 3 What did Teacher Zhao say to them? Did he tell them he was Grandmaster's disciple? But, although Grandmaster was very knowledgeable about spirits, his own power wasn't outstanding, seemingly insufficient to cow the unrivaled dragon serpent. As expected, Meng Xu said. So he's Grandmaster's disciple. Didn't expect that Grandmaster's theory finally has a chance to come true. Today on account of Grandmaster, I will let you go once. However, remember kid, if something similar happens again, I won't care who your master is. We're leaving. Finished speaking, he turned about to leave. Grandpa. Meng Yiran looked at her grandpa and grandma about to leave, immediately worried. Grandpa, twice he robbed my spirit beasts, will you let this be? Meng Xu somewhat helplessly looked at his granddaughter, saying. Then what do you still want? Grandpa is so old, we can't have the old take unfair advantage of the young. Better let it be. Meng Iran obstinately looked at her grandpa. No, I can't let it be like this. If I can't have it, then I absolutely can't let him have it. Since you're unwilling to act on my behalf, then I'll do it myself. Tang San, if you are a man, have another contest with me. Tang San frowned. You still want to compete with me? Have you forgotten you lost to me once already? Oscar's sausage was indeed special. In a short time, Tang San's spirit power already recovered to three tenths. His physical strength had returned even more substantially. His complexion already became much better looking. Meng Yuran nodded firmly. Yes, I must fight you again. Don't think because you won last time you can beat me again. I also won't take advantage of your currently lacking spirit power. We'll fight in another way. You've twice robbed me of spirit beasts, so this contest's contents should be my decision. Tang San drew a deep breath. Feeling his internal condition had already greatly improved, he unhurriedly strolled forward. What is the bet? If it was only Meng Yuran, he had enormous certainty. Although his spirit power was lacking, he could still use hidden weapons to contend against her. The godly Juga crossbow in his hand was already a top-notch mechanism, although he knew right now, after his compromise with the unrivaled dragon serpent he couldn't kill Meng Yiran, he could still rely on hidden weapons in many ways to be able to take away Meng Yiran's ability to fight. Meng Yiran hatefully glared at Tang San, saying, If I win, you can't absorb this man-faced demon spider's spirit ring. If you win, it naturally is yours. Regarding the man-faced demon spider's spirit ring, Tang San could be said to be determined to win. Just by obtaining it, he would be able to extremely quickly recover his physical strength to search for Xiao Wu. Fine, what do we compete in? The unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife were not currently in any hurry to leave, standing to the side without interrupting, supporting their granddaughter. The two husband and wife occasionally muttered a few sentences with unknown contents. On the Shrek Academy side, Zhao Wuji wrinkled his brows, he had not thought this time Meng Yiran would be a new branch grown out of the knot too. In order to a dragon dupe let Tang San off, he had already told Meng Xu some secrets, otherwise, with the unrivaled dragon serpent's tyranny, how would they leave so easily? Meng Yiran was just about to speak, when previously at Tang San's side, Oscar rushed to speak. Wait a minute, this is unjust. Everyone looked at Oscar, Oscar wandered up to Tang San's side, speaking frankly with assurance. This man-faced demon spider was clearly killed by Tang San. Even if you previously injured it, it still could only considered be one person killing half. Right now also only Tang San is able to absorb this spirit ring. This bet of yours clearly isn't fair. A baleful air flickered in Meng Yiran's eyes. Then what do you want? Oscar smiled darkly, saying. It's not what I want. If you lose, you naturally can't obstruct Tang San absorbing this spirit ring. Simultaneously, shouldn't you also pay a bit? What we ask isn't much, at that time, you only need to kiss Tang San once. Little Ao. Zhao Wuji groaned, he didn't want the unrivaled dragon serpent to be infuriated once again. But what surprised Zhao Wuji was, Dragon Duke Meng Xu suddenly spoke up. Good. It's decided. Young people must always have a bit of passion. While speaking, on this Dragon Duke's face for the first time revealed a smiling expression, and at his side Serpent Grandmother's face faintly blushed. Oscar had no idea that this proposal of his made the unrivaled dragon serpent before them recall a scene from their youth. At that time, when Dragon Duke Meng Xu first met Serpent Grandmother Chao Tianxiang, it was with a bet he gained Chao Tianxiang's company. At last in the end walking together they admittedly still had all kinds of fortune. 
but originally making that bet played a crucial part. At that time, the conditions Meng Shu proposed were unexpectedly exactly the same as what Oscar said now. In Dragon Duke and Serpent Grandmother's eyes, although Tang San's appearance was a bit common, far from being able to compare with Dai Mubai, both his talent and what Zhao Wuji just now told Meng Shu made them look extremely favorably on this child. Regarding their granddaughter's future, this old husband and wife had already planned ahead properly. They also wanted to see, under these kinds of conditions, whether Tang San was able to once again best their granddaughter. Regarding grandpa's decision Meng Iran couldn't help but be somewhat astonished, but she didn't refuse, since she had absolute confidence in the method of fighting she was about to propose. Tang San was only impatient to obtain the spirit ring and not concerned with other matters, anyway this bet wasn't of any harm to him. Raising his hand towards Meng Iran he made an inviting gesture. Resolutely glaring at Tang San, Meng Iran just raised her right hand, on her flawless wrist a suet white jade, three, ring twinkling with faint gloss, in a flash of light, a long cloth bag had already appeared in her hand. Clearly, that ring was also a spirit tool. The cloth bag's length was about two chi, four or so, its width approximately half a chi, Meng Yiran separated her hands, the cloth was already split into two halves, and when she turned around the cloth, everyone clearly saw that on the cloth strip hung a many identical in shape and size short blades. The short blades lacked hand guards, to Tang San's professional gaze, those were clearly throwing knives. Only these throwing knives in Meng Yiran's hands were somewhat simple and crude, apart from two blood grooves, they didn't have any special characteristics. The knife handles were about 3 cun, 5, long, the blades 5 cun. The material was pretty good, flickering with faint light. I have here 36 spirit cleaving knives, 6. You and I will each have 18. Later I will have grandpa shake a tree 20 meters away, making the leaves fall. You and I will act at the same time, throwing spirit cleaving knives. The one piercing the most tree leaves wins. But no matter how many leaves are hit, the spirit cleaving knife has to in the end stick in the tree trunk. Spirit cleaving knives that don't hit the tree don't count in the final score. Meng Yiran confidently declared her method of competition. After she finished speaking the last sentence, she discovered the Shrek Academy group before her had become somewhat strange. Motionless bright king stared at her wide-eyed, blinking incessantly. The two pupils in evil eye white tiger Dai Mubai's evil eyes actually momentarily became a single pupil. Oscar used his hand to cover his wide open mouth. Ma Hongjun staggered, almost falling on the ground. The chill on ice cold Zhu Zhuqing's pretty face retreated, leaving only a stunned expression. Ning Rongrong giggled, laughing out loud. But Tang sent face to face with Meng Yiran, on his face was an expression like a smile yet not a smile. Since Xiao Wu was snatched by the titan giant ape, this was still the first time his expression had relaxed, even turning his wrist, returning the godly Zhuva crossbow to 24 moonlit bridges at his waist. Are you all fools? Or don't you dare take up the challenge? Meng Yiran seeing the expressions of everyone on the Shrek Academy side, with a kind of mocking feeling, immediately angrily said to her opponent. Oscar used his hand to close his wide open mouth, resisting laughter saying. How couldn't we accept the challenge? Your competition method is very good, truly very good. Right now he was already thinking about where on tanks and he should make Meng Yiran kiss. Comparing hidden weapons with a Tang sect disciple was indeed very good. Right now, even Zhao Wuji's face displayed a smiling expression. Meng Yiran naturally didn't know what everyone was thinking, looking at Tang San. Aren't you resting again, I can't be said to bully you. Tang San naturally wasn't as sly as Oscar, helplessly shaking his head, saying. It's fine as long as you later don't say I bullied you. Can we begin? If the contest was something else, Tang San San might truly have had to recover another moment, but Meng Yiran was proposing to compare hidden weapons with him who had cultivated Tang sect hidden weapon secret lore inherited techniques since childhood. Let alone the spirit power he already had somewhat recovered, even if he currently didn't have a trace of spirit power, Tang San would still believe there was no way he could lose to Meng Yiran. Meng Yiran threw one of the cloth bags in her hands to Tang San, currently she was still brimming with confidence. Pointing at a large tree roughly 20 meters distant, saying. We'll use that as a target. Tang San shot glanced at that tree, saying. Fine. The handles of the spirit cleaving knives in the cloth bag in Meng Yiran's hand were all tied with red silk ribbons, the ones in Tang San's hands were all tied with blue silk. No worries of mixing them up. Meng Yiran couldn't see the expressions on the Shrek Academy students, but how could Meng Shu and his wife not see clearly? But what they in their hearts didn't comprehend, was why these Shrek Academy people looked like they already held certain victory. Meng Yiran had since childhood liked every kind of weapon, especially short weapons. These 36 spirit cleaving knives, Dragon Duke Meng Shu had after careful thought specially found someone to make for her, Meng Yiran were extremely fond of these throwing knives, frequently practicing. Within 30 meters she could hit the target 100% of the time. Of course, she was only able to throw 18 knives in a short time. Her proposed contest restrictions were just at her limit. One, roughly translated its big husband, manly man, dare to do, dare to be. Two, idiom a new branch grows out of the knot, side issues keep arising. Three, literally sheep fat white jade, a kind of pure white jade. Four, two equals two thirds m. Five, three equals ten centimeters. Six, break slash split slash destroy spirit knife. Chapter 34 Limit surpassing man face demon spider spirit ring. Part 1 when previously competing against Tang San, because the two very quickly entered the phase of competing with spirit power, Meng Yurong didn't use her spirit cleaving knives, Meng Shu wasn't convinced that Tang San who held this kind of throwing type weapon for the first time could do even more outstanding than his granddaughter. Meng Yuran nodded to her grandpa. 
Grandpa, begin. Meng Shu said to Tang San. Are you ready? Tang San nodded, when competing in hidden weapons, could he still need to prepare? Of course, with his temperament, he naturally couldn't say something like that. Meng Yuran swiftly stuck the cloth bag to the clothes around her waist. On the back of the bag were convenient fasteners that could adhere to any texture of clothing. As she wore her cloth bag she still specially looked at Tang San, discovering Tang San was somewhat blankly holding the cloth bag in one hand, appearing like he couldn't at all use throwing type hidden weapons. Seeing this scene, Meng Yuran found it hard not to be a little pleased with herself. Dragon Duke Meng Shu acted, not taking a step himself, but making a casual throw, throwing out the four meters long dragon head cane in his hand. A loud and clear dragon's cry rose from the dragon cane head, the silver cane like it turned into a living silver dragon, swiftly struck the big tree 20 meters away. With a muffled ping sound, the strength Meng Shu used was perfect, sufficient to display a shaking force, without injuring the tree itself, the leaves falling like rain. With a charming shout, Meng Yuran used both hands simultaneously, one by one throwing out a succession of cold swift lights from the cloth bag, her motions could also be considered nimble, in one breath the 18 spirit cleaving knives had all been thrown. Perhaps it was because her heart was brimming with fury at Tang San, thereby exciting her mood, Meng Yuran clearly sensed that throwing her spirit cleaving knives today felt unusually good. She was certain that each of her spirit cleaving knives had accurately hit the target, some even piercing two leaves. Meng Yuran's attention was focused on completing throwing her throwing knives, but Meng Shu after using the dragon head cane, let his gaze fall on Tang San. His dragon head cane was a tool spirit, after getting rid of it he only had to rely on spirit power to retrieve it, no need for painstaking control. He wanted to see whether this youngster called Tang San could once again provide him some amazement. Under Meng Shu's gaze, Tang San's actions greatly puzzled the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife. When the dragon head cane struck, he had once already turned around. But instead of turning towards the target tree, he rather had back to it. At the same time as Meng Yiran acted, Tang San moved the cloth bag in his hand. The entire cloth bag in his right hand unfolded in a flash, immediately following, the cloth bag quickly shook. Eighteen cold lights practically simultaneously left their original positions. Meng Yiran's spirit cleaving knives naturally shot out straight ahead, but Meng Shu clearly saw that the spirit cleaving knives Tang San threw unexpectedly traveled in an arc. Throwing one throwing knife in an arcing pattern already required superior skill and technique, but Tang San without even using his hands to directly control them, only throwing them by the cloth bag, gave all the spirit cleaving knives this kind of effect. Even as a spirit Du Luo Meng Shu couldn't help but be gobsmacked, looking carefully in the direction Tang San's spirit cleaving knives were flying. A duo duo sound erupted, the concentrated sound of the short blades piercing the tree trunk. The tree leaves gradually drifting down, the contest had already ended. Meng Yuran turned her head to look at Tang San, just in time to see Tang San turn back, she couldn't help but somewhat startled and angrily saying. You won't shoot. Tang San shook the empty cloth bag in his hand, saying. I already did. The moment Meng Yuran looked distracted, the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife already reached her side. Meng Shu sighed, saying. Brilliant skill. Yuran, you lost. Meng Yuran failing to understand the reason why looked at her grandpa, Meng Shu shook his head towards her, saying. No need to see the result. We're leaving. No, I don't believe it. Without first seeing it with her own eyes, how could Meng Yuran be convinced that her most expert throwing weapon skill would lose to this Tang San who already was without physical strength? Ignoring her grandparents' obstruction, she ran like flying to that big tree. She couldn't believe that she unexpectedly would lose. Meng Shu sighed, muttering to himself. This time perhaps the blow to her won't be small. However, letting her understand that there are people beyond people, heavens beyond heaven, one, principle, that's also no harm. Reaching the foot of the tree, Meng Yiran first of all looked at the throwing knives she had thrown. Just like what she had estimated, the 18 throwing knives were completely stuck on the tree trunk, moreover within a small area. On each spirit cleaving knife was at least one tree leaf, at most even three. Compared to her ordinary level, it was still somewhat better. But as Meng Yuran's gaze moved up, looking for those spirit cleaving knives with the blue silk ribbons, her entire person dulled. Eighteen blue silk ribbon spirit cleaving knives were neatly stuck on the tree trunk in three rows, each a row of six, just right to form the character too. Each spirit cleaving knife pierced a stack of tree leaves, even to the extent that the knife blades entered the tree with the exact same depth. Compared to Meng Yuran's eighteen unevenly stuck spirit cleaving knives, this contrast was just too clear. Meng Shu's voice reached Meng Yuran's ears. Girl, concede. Tang San's skill is something even I am unable to accomplish. Throwing at the same time, hitting the tree at the same time, even only making a single sound, with each spirit cleaving knife piercing ten tree leaves or more. Furthermore, when throwing he completely had his back turned, without using his eyes to see. Skill like this can only be described as brilliant. Meng Yuran slowly turned around, looking at her grandpa, although her gaze was no longer dull, her entire person looked like she had lost her spirit. Without even her spirit cleaving knives, she walked back to her grandparents step by step. Just like what Meng Shu said, being beaten in her most expert capability actually was too great a blow to Meng Yuran. Within three days, losing to Tang San twice in succession, moreover one loss more wretched than the other, being robbed of two spirit beasts. The confidence she'd always had was beaten bruised and bloody by Tang San. Tang San strode forward several steps, palm swiping at his waist, a steel needle spraying out, completely hitting loose the spirit cleaving knives on the tree, the steel needle also returning to his hand with the following trajectory, the spirit cleaving knives were also collected one by one in his hand using the cloth bag to bundle them up. Finishing this, Tang San with quick steps caught up before Meng Yuran. 
Miss Meng, your spirit cleaving knives. Meng Yuran raised her head to look at him, right now, her beautiful mien appeared somewhat pale. Are you making fun of me? Tang San shook his head, saying. No. In fact you need not feel sad. I've practiced hidden weapons since I was three, although I am still only twelve this year, I've already practiced for a full nine years. When just now using hidden weapons it was was already at my full strength. That was the most exquisite skill I'm currently capable of using. Hidden weapons? Some of Meng Yuran's interest was piqued by this brand new term. Tang San handed over the spirit cleaving knives into her hands. Weapons used stealthily to display their effect, I call it hidden weapons. Hidden weapons shouldn't be used for contests, but is a method to unexpectedly reach victory by catching the opponent off guard. When Meng Yuran proposed to compete with him in hidden weapons, Tang San apart from not knowing whether to laugh or cry, still had a kind of amiable feeling. After all, since coming to this world this was the first time another person had appeared to be using hidden weapons. Again recalling that ever since meeting this girl older than him, although really hadn't been deliberate, he had still caused her a lot of trouble. Robbing her of two useful spirit rings, in his heart, he still somewhat regretted it. Right now the situation was already set, but he couldn't help tell Meng Yuran's a few things. He didn't hope for Meng Yuran to give up cultivating hidden weapons from now on because of the blow today. Meng Yuran's big eyes blinked, saying. Then why are you able to use hidden weapons to that kind of degree? Tang San said. Practicing hidden weapons still requires a certain method. Actually, this kind of throwing knife doesn't suit you. For you, its volume is somewhat too large, and its weight is also somewhat high. I think that if you switch to throwing needles, it would be even more effective. Just like this. While speaking, he raised his hand to swipe across a jade stone on 24 moonlit bridges, a penetrating bone needle as long as 5 cun 3, already appeared in the palm of his hand. Tang San handed over the penetrating bone needle to Meng Yuran, saying. This is a kind of needle I call penetrating bone needle, 5 cun long, front slender and back thick, the weight doesn't reach a fifth of your throwing knives, but they should still be able to reach extremely far, with powerful penetration. Because the bulk is small, they're very easy to carry. Although this time was a coincidence, I've twice destroyed your chances to obtain a spirit beast. If you want, I can tell you about a kind of method for cultivating hidden weapons. When you go back you can try it at once, it should be a good deal better than just practicing. Meng Yuran looked blank. You would teach me? She still clearly remembered that previously Grandpa still said he would remove one arm. As she raised her head to look at Tang San, she discovered Tang San's gaze was extremely clear, without any impurity. He clearly really wasn't false. Tang San said. The path of hidden weapons is equally broad and deep, do you want to learn? Meng Yuran subconsciously nodded. Tang San smiled slightly, saying. Just now I wasn't using my eyes, but was still able to take aim. This is employing a kind of hidden weapon basic skill. It's called sound localization, for relying on hearing to distinguish the target's location. Under bad lighting or perhaps unsuitable circumstances, unable to see the target's precise location with the eyes, hearing can give extremely important results. Practicing good sound localization, when shooting your hidden weapons you will not have any blind spot, and also possess even more covert nature. Sound localization was a basic hidden weapons exercise, not considered some secret. Immediately, Tang Sen didn't care about the unrivaled dragon serpent husband and wife to the side, simply explaining this kind of exercise. Furthermore explaining a bit about the methods of practicing hidden weapons. Just as he began, Meng Iran still held some grudges in her heart, but as Tang San spoke, she nodded again and again, and in less than a cup of tea's worth of time, Tang San's words gave her an all-new awareness of the world of hidden weapons. Part 2 You can practice these. The effect of hidden weapons assisting you is already very big. Tang San used the briefest words to finish his explanation to Meng Yuran, he wasn't valuing the broom as his own, five, and was anxious to absorb the man-faced demon spider spirit ring to go look for Xiaowu. By now his physical strength and spirit power had both recovered a while, he felt he should be able to absorb the spirit ring. Dragon Duke and Serpent Grandmother all along stood to the side watching Tang San teach Meng Yuran without interrupting. Originally Dragon Duke had a somewhat gloomy expression due to what Xiao Wuji said, but right now on his face already hung a smile. Meng Yuran gave Tang San a deep look. I won't thank you. Tang San smiled faintly. I didn't hope for it. Giggling, Meng Yuran laughed, she was very beautiful, and this time immediately changed like thought by a spring wind. You're only twelve? Indeed precocious. Come. Let big sister kiss you. While speaking, she suddenly moved closer to kiss Tang San on the cheek. Tang San clearly had not anticipated Meng Yuran would sneak attack him, only feeling a burst of warmth on his face, for a moment not only his face blushed, even his ears were rendered scarlet. Meng Yuran seeing his embarrassed appearance felt very carefree, firmly saying. You can't have strange ideas, this was my bet with you. If you agree to a bet you must accept to lose, I wouldn't refuse to acknowledge it. Well, we're leaving. You also hurry and absorb that spirit ring, if I come across you stirring up trouble again next time I'm hunting a spirit beast, humph humph. While speaking, she still gestured with her fist at Tang San. Of course, this clearly didn't hold any force behind it. Dragon Duke and Serpent Grandmother smiled at each other, again nodding to Zhao Wuji, with this brought their granddaughter to soar away, they still had to immediately find their granddaughter another spirit beast, then extremely quickly leave this place. They could not guard against the threat of the titan giant ape. Oscar moved closer to Tang San's side smiling mischievously. Saner, six, pleasurable or not? Tang San somewhat speechless glared at him. What pleasurable? Get me another recovery sausage. Oscar laughed. 
I your father have a big sausage. With his vulgar spirit incantation, he directly handed over a sausage to Tang San. Turning towards the man-faced demon spider's corpse, by now, dense purple light had already condensed above the corpse, just the most ideal time to absorb it. Looking at it, Tang San's previously somewhat relaxed expression once again tightened, he immediately remembered, Xiao Wu still waited for his help. Eating the sausage, he walked over and sat by the side of the man-faced demon spider. I will trouble everyone. Zhao Wuji gave Tang San a nod, waving his hand, the students crowded around with Tang San in the middle, carefully guarding. With their protection, Tang San no longer needed to worry about common spirit beasts threatening him. He was finally able to wholeheartedly absorb the formidable spirit ring before him. Raising his right hand, the blue light produced by the blue silver grass spirit gradually appeared in Tang San's palm. Taking a deep breath, Tang San summoned the man-faced demon spider's spirit ring. The purple light like it had been waiting for a long time and finally found an opening, just starting to feel Tang San's spirit, immediately like a hundred rivers flowing into the sea rushed towards Tang San. Watching the dark purple light in a moment about to envelop Tang San's body, Zhao Wuji also couldn't help but be shocked. Such strong spirit power fluctuations, this man-faced demon spider had after all cultivated for how many years? Tang San as the person involved felt it even more clearly. He only sensed a tremendous heat flow towards him and abruptly into him, still without waiting for his reaction, that boiling like a raging flame began to burn his body. The man-faced demon spider in itself was certainly tyrannical, and the spirit ring it formed was ruthless. Intense energy entered within Tang San and began to break and remold his body. Although the energy contained within the spirit ring wasn't conscious, it still basically wasn't something Tang San's consciousness could control. Under the powerful spirit power fluctuations, Tang San only felt like his body was bursting open. The violent pain immediately made him belch up a mouthful of blood. Everyone surrounding him were simultaneously startled, they had also absorbed spirit rings, but it was still the first time they came across anything like this. Zhao Wuji said in a low voice. This man-faced demon spider's spirit ring is excessively tyrannical. Wanting to absorb it isn't easy. Right now he can only trust himself, when absorbing the spirit ring he can't take support from any outside force, otherwise it will only bring about the reverse effect. Right now we can only believe in Tang Sen being able to receive it and return to us. What Xiao Wuji didn't say was, the more difficult a spirit ring was to absorb, the greater the resulting effect would be. After all if its attached energy was tremendous, the generated spirit ability would naturally also be extremely awesome. Meng Shu and Chao Tianxiang brought Meng Yiran towards the outskirts of the Star Do Great Forest. Chao Tianxiang continuously watched her granddaughter, ever since leaving the Shrek Academy party, Meng Yiran had all along bowed her head in silence, apparently reflecting on something. Yiran. What are you thinking about? Chao Tianxiang asked. Meng Yiran was roused from her chain of thought by her grandmother's voice. I was thinking about what Tang San said. Grandma, you say whether I should later use that penetrating bone needle? Chao Tianxiang smiled, saying. If you feel good with it, use it. Although that needle's appearance is somewhat unusual, finding people to make it isn't strenuous. It's still my first time seeing such a long needle, unexpectedly it's 5 CUN. Dragon Duke Meng Shu suddenly said. That kid Tang San really isn't bad, not only talented, but also without a bit of arrogance, he's a rare talented person. It's a pity he didn't agree to join our clan, otherwise, before reaching 20, he would inevitably be able to bring the clan to new heights. Chao Tianxiang sighed lightly, saying. A golden carp within a pond on meeting storms becomes a dragon, 7. It's not only Tang San, I saw those several children were all very outstanding. I truly don't know from where Zhao Wuji found these outstandingly gifted children. I heard Zhao Wuji say, they appear to be from some Shrek Academy. How come I haven't heard the name of this academy? Meng Shu said. That's all unimportant. Although the others look to be pretty good, but I feel that compared to Tang San they are still somewhat lacking. Iran, what did you think about Tang San? Meng Iran was distracted a moment, a light flashing in her eyes. Finally she couldn't help but say. He's just a mature child. Recalling Tang San's solemn face, she couldn't help but add. He really didn't seem only 12 years old. Meng Shu smiling said. I'm asking what you think about him. Meng Yiran was already 16, just the age of first awakening of love and on her own extremely acute, somewhat understood the vague meaning in Grandpa's words. Grandpa. Aren't you trying to coerce mismatched Mandarin ducks, 8? I'm three years older than him, how would it be possible? She had just had her 16th birthday, and indeed was three years older than Tang San. Meng Shu laughed. Age is no problem, woman three years older, holds a golden brick, nine, dot. Meng Yiran's charming face blushed. Grandpa, you. Meng Shu said. What? You're not willing? Still think his appearance is too ordinary. Meng Yiran snorted, saying. It goes without saying he's ordinary. From his clothes it can also be seen he isn't the child of some famous family. I truly don't understand, why when he uses a crippled spirit like blue silver grass his cultivation speed is still so fast. Meng Shu scowled. Girl. When did you become a person who judges by appearance? That child Tang San cannot be as simple as you say. How can you know he doesn't come from a prestigious house? Blue silver grass? Have you ever seen a spirit master that could cultivate blue silver grass above 30th rank? Furthermore what he said about hidden weapons, these added together are enough to prove this child is out of the ordinary. Meng Yiran seeing grandpa become somewhat angry, couldn't help but stick out her tongue. Don't get angry grandpa, let's speak of this matter again later. 
We can't say whether we'll meet him again in the future. Meng Xu sighed softly. The younger generations will do all right on their own. In your own matters make your own decisions. Only, grandpa's old eyes aren't decorations. In a person's life, one has only one opportunity, possibly extremely brief, if one is unable to grab it, it will be lost at once. Chao Tianxian gripped Meng Xu's hand. All right. Old codger, don't say it so bravely, first helping Yiran find a suitable third spirit ring is most important. Other matters can be spoken of again later. Once we've returned, we will first ask around about this Shrek Academy. Part 3 The Shrek Academy group's gazes had right now all become stairs. Surrounded by everyone, sitting in the middle with legs crossed Tang San already looked in bad shape, his entire person enveloped within a layer of light red mist. The red within the mist was not at all the light of spirit power, but Tang San's blood. Not long before, along with violent spirit power fluctuations over his body, Tang San's skin had begun to overflow with a layer of fine drops of blood. Along with spirit power rising into the air, it became this kind of light red mist. Tang San's brows were tightly locked, lips closed tightly, his body continuously convulsing violently. Adding to the drops of blood leaking through his skin, it was obvious that he was currently in severe pain. Within the mist, from time to time transmitted the sound of bones snapping. Each time gave everyone around him a kind of hair-raising feeling, but that third spirit ring that should emerge following absorption had all along not showed its true nature, this proved Tang San still could not completely absorb the man-faced demon spider's spirit ring. Dai Mubai worried asked Zhao Wuji in a low voice. Teacher Zhao, if it goes on I'm afraid Tang San will be in danger. Zhao Wuji's brows were equally tight. I know, but right now we even more can't interrupt him, otherwise, the result would be even more severe. Right now we can only watch his willpower. He should be capable of absorbing the energy this spirit ring bestows. Only his body's condition isn't at all optimal, and this man-faced demon spider spirit ring's energy is in itself excessively ruthless. Under these kinds of circumstances, I hope Tang San is able to surmount the mountain pass otherwise. The pain which Tang San currently endured only he knew. From the energy of the man-faced demon spider spirit ring, he felt his whole body seemingly cut by countless sharp blades, there was nowhere his internal organs weren't hurting, the tyrannical energy unceasingly tore apart his body, constantly putting him in extreme pain. In fact, what Zhao Wuji said had a mistake. Because the man-faced demon spider was so rare, even if it was Grandmaster, it would still have been very difficult to determine its cultivation interval. The largest spirit power which a spirit master was able to absorb for the third spirit ring was on the 1,700 years level, reaching the fourth spirit ring they were able to absorb spirit rings around 5,000 years of cultivation. The fifth spirit ring upper absorption limit was 12,000 years or so, the sixth spirit ring absorption limit was 20,000 years. The seventh spirit ring within 30,000 years to 50,000 years, determined by different spirit masters different attributes. Reaching the 8th spirit ring, it was possible to absorb the spirit ring of a spirit beast over 50,000 years. Only the final ninth spirit ring had the possibility of absorbing a 100,000 year spirit ring. Of course, among known spirit masters, nobody had been able to absorb a 100,000 year spirit beast for their last spirit ring. This man-faced demon spider Tang Sen killed, had actually already surpassed 2,000 years. Although it was just recently, it still already exceeded the limit of what Tang Sen could absorb for his third spirit ring. This was also the most significant reason why although Grandmaster knew the enormous benefit of the man-faced demon spider to blue silver grass, he did not approve of him looking for this kind of spirit ring. In the fight, Tang Sen simply estimated the man-faced demon spider's actual strength, but he overlooked one point, that man-faced demon spider had after all already been injured by Dragon Duke Mengshu. With the kind of strength Mengshu had, the injuries he gave the man-faced demon spider would naturally substantially influence its strength. Tang Sen's circumstances were greatly different from the majority of spirit masters. Because he had dual spirits, in addition to also cultivating Mysterious Heaven skill recorded in Mysterious Heaven treasure record, his body's resilience was much better than an ordinary person's. Ordinarily, if it was some common spirit beast, absorbing a 2000 year or so for his third spirit ring was already without too much of an issue, after all, that was where his body exhibited its advantage. But this man-faced demon spider couldn't be some ordinary spirit beast, its own ruthlessness and power made the spirit ring also become extremely tyrannical, adding to Tang San's body not being in optimal condition, he immediately sunk into huge crisis. If Tang San's circumstances could be calculated, then, he could in the end only have one result. His body would be unable to bear the shock of the man-faced demon spider's energy, bursting and dying. After all, that energy already exceeded the scope of what he could absorb. But some things couldn't be calculated. For example, willpower and conviction. As his willpower alone reached a certain resolute degree, or perhaps by possessing a matchless stubborn conviction, frequently miracles would appear. The current Tang San, although enduring incomparable pain, in the depths of his heart possessed an extremely stubborn conviction, that was to save Xiao Wu. Relying on this conviction, he unyieldingly withstood wave after wave of pain. Even if blood already seeped out over his body, he still withstood the tyrannical energy of the man-faced demon spider spirit ring. From a certain point of view, Xiao Wu being snatched by the titan giant ape on the contrary helped Tang San. A spirit ring surpassing the absorption limit would admittedly produce a huge crisis, but when successful, the benefits would be equally tremendous. The tyrannical energy fluctuations unceasingly grew stronger, the blood mist around Tang San's body also became more and more distinct. Within the blood mist, even a faint fishy smell seeped out, unknown whether it was impurities within Tang San's body, or the man-faced demon spider's poison. While everyone were worried like cats on a hot tin roof, suddenly, the echo of a soft footstep grabbed Zhao Wuji's attention. Who? 
Zhao Wuji's ice cold gaze turned to look in that direction, spirit power suddenly amassing. This was already Tang San's most crucial moment, he couldn't let any person or maybe spirit beast disturb him. Teacher Zhao. A slender silhouette ran out of the forest. Seeing her, not just Zhao Wuji paused, the others also couldn't help staring blankly, suddenly coming running out of the forest, unexpectedly was Xiao Wu. Right now Xiao Wu cut a somewhat sorry figure, her clothes were greatly damaged, the orderly scorpion braid on her head had also become disheveled, but her her complexion was extremely healthy, compared to before apparently a bit more mature. Xiao Wu, you didn't die? Just as Oscar said this he became aware that his words were somewhat unpleasant. Xiao Wu snapped. Did you hope I would die? What is this? This mist, heavens, what's happened to little San? Seeing Tang San within the light red mist, Xiao Wu's heart immediately tightened, rushing over. She had been carried here by the titan giant ape. Although the area of Star Do Great Forest was extensive, if the Forest King Titan Giant Ape wanted to find the Shrek Academy party here it was hardly difficult, all spirit beasts could be its eyes. After Xiao Wu was delivered to the vicinity, the Titan Giant Ape just quietly left. Don't disturb him, he's absorbing the third spirit ring. Zhao Wuji hurriedly stopped Xiao Wu. Xiao Wu involuntarily cried out. But, how could absorbing the third spirit ring become like this? Turning her head to look at the man-faced demon spider's corpse to the side, she more or less understood. It's a man-faced demon spider. Not good, this man-faced demon spider's cultivation age exceeds 2,000 years, Grandmaster said. A spirit master's third spirit ring limit was 1,760 years, little Sanhi. Zhao Wuji stared blankly. How do you know this man-faced demon spider has cultivated 2,000 years? Xiao Wu at this became aware of what she let slip. The man-faced demon spider's cultivation will be seen from the length of its legs. You see, this man-faced demon spider's legs already surpass 3 meters, this is the mark of cultivation age exceeding 2,000 years. Don't tell me you all didn't know thousand year spirit beast cultivation will engender some clear change with each each millennium past. Like hundred year spirit beasts will change with each cultivated century, and like ten thousand year spirit beasts will change according ten thousand years. Zhao Wuji somewhat impressed said. I truly didn't understand this clearly. I didn't expect you to have so much knowledge of spirit beasts. Xiao Wu said. These are all taught by Grandmaster. Covering for the mistakes of her mouth by shifting them to the most knowledgeable in spirits Grandmaster clearly was a very good method. As expected, hearing her words, everyone's doubts eased. Zhao Wuji said with a wry smile. Little San already started absorbing this spirit ring. Right now there's no chance to stop. We can only hope for him to withstand the shock of the energy in the spirit ring, enduring this mountain pass. All right, Xiao Wu, how did you escape the titan giant ape's demon hand? Tell us first what happened. She couldn't tell everyone that it was because the titan giant ape Er Ming sensed her smell that it specially came to carry her, before returning Xiao Wu naturally had thought out what to say. Worriedly looking at Tang San before her she explained. I also don't know what it was all about, that titan giant ape grabbed me and ran into the forest. Before running very far it seemed a cow-like roar came through from one direction, the titan giant ape appeared very nervous. Looking at me, it threw me aside at once. Afterwards it ran off. A cow roar? What cow could make a titan giant ape nervous? Afterwards? Zhao Wuji couldn't help but scowl. In Xiao Wu's eyes displayed a fearful light. As that titan giant ape dumped me, before leaving it made a howl. I only felt a sky spinning and earth revolving dizziness pass, once I woke up, it was already nowhere to be seen. The scene at that time was terrifying. All around were at least 10 spirit beasts unconscious from the shock, the weak were directly shocked, so they bled out of the nose and mouth and died. I don't know whether to say my luck was good or bad, I suddenly discovered, my spirit power had also broken through the 30th rank. Zhao Wuji was alarmed. What? You already reached 30th rank? Who is older of you and Tang San? Xiao Wu said. I'm some months younger than him. Zhao Wuji was speechless a spell, the record Tang San had just now set, had already been altered. However, Xiao Wu's next words widened his eyes even more. Xiao Wu said. At that time I was very frightened, perhaps the reason my spirit power increased was because the external excitement was too large. I happened to discover a comparatively suitable for me thousand year spirit beast that had fainted, so I killed it to obtain my third spirit ring. That is well? Fatty stared at Xiao Wu, showing an expression like a blind cat at a dead mouse. Xiao Wu displayed an expression of lingering trepidation. Consider my fate great, I basically believed I would die. So that none of the surrounding spirit beasts would wake up to attack, I had no choice but to jolt the surrounding spirit beasts to death. After absorbing the third spirit ring my physical strength recovered. Then I just walked in the direction I remembered coming from, before hearing voices from this side and coming over to look, finally finding you. 1. Idiom, there's always someone better than you. 2. 3, which is also the San in Tang San. 3. 5 equals 16.7 centimeters. 4. Hearing sound distinguishing location. 5. Idiom, having sentimental attachment. 6. Oscar uses, a diminutive suffix, in this case meaning something like sun. 7. This one is a pain to translate. It's close to a line from a poem in the famous 1989 comic by Ma Wingxing, slash, Feng Yin slash Feng One Wind and Cloud, slash, also variously adapted as the Storm Riders. The full poem is, which a daring person might butcher by translating as A golden carp within a pond, meeting storms, wind and cloud, thus becomes a dragon. Nine heavenly dragons cry change the sky, at storm's edge will dive and swim. 
What confuses the issue somewhat is that here golden carp is misspelled as the homonym golden, female, unicorn, which differ only in one radical, and by a quick Google seems to be a common typo. Further confusing the issue is that the top hits on a Google search will refer to the erotic web novel by Monkey by the same name, about a street hoodlum growing up to become a business tycoon. In any case, I can't find an explanation of it, and won't be bothered reading the comic to figure it out, so you get a best fit translation. 8. Idiom, misarranging matches through mistaken identification of couples. Mandarin ducks are a common symbol for lovers, as are most birds in pairs. 9. This rhyme, Nu de San, Bao Jin Juan, is part of a series of how various age differences in couples improves married life. Rhymes don't translate well to English. Chapter 35 Tang San's Tyrannical Third Spirit Ability Part 1 Although Xiao was excuse had a few loopholes, she had come back alive. Who would have thought she and the Titan Giant Ape had a relationship of some sort? Everyone subconsciously chose to believe her. Zhao Wuji nodded and said, As long as you're back. After you were taken, Little San was so worried his eyes turned all red. He asked for a mushroom sausage from Oscar and went after you immediately. He briefly summarized everything that happened while Oscar passed a recovery sausage to Xiao Wu. Listening to Zhao Wuji, Xiao Wu's eyes reddened. Tears fell like a broken string of pearls rolling down her cheeks. Looking at Tang San enveloped in a bloody mist, she murmured, Go, please don't get hurt. It's all my fault. It's all my fault, I made you worried. You have to persevere through this. As long as you wake up, I would do anything. Xiao Wu felt truly remorseful. A moment of carelessness caused her to forget to restrain her aura, causing Er Ming to find her and come to meet her. If she didn't get kidnapped by Er Ming, nothing after would have happened, and Tang San wouldn't absorb a spirit ring in such a condition. But it was too late to say anything, and they could only hope that Tang San's resolve was firm enough to help him pass this crisis. At the moment, in Tang San's consciousness there was only one sentence. Xiao Wu, I will go save you. With this thought, no matter how excruciating the pain, he always bitterly withstood it, not letting his mind collapse first. In this life and death situation, Tang San's childhood cultivations were starting to show its use. His body was already stronger than people his age, and mysterious heaven skill was even more 100% toughness focused orthodox sect internal strength. If the man faced demon spider's spirit ring had a consciousness, it would discover that its violent power would almost break through Tang San's body every time, but his body would always, at the last moment, block it back with sheer tenacity. And each time he warded the energy off, Tang San would absorb a tiny bit of the energy in the spirit ring. Under this slow growth, the ruthless energy was constantly weakening. Tang San now had to face the most crucial problem. After he absorbed the spirit ring's energy, how could he merge it with his body, his mysterious heaven skill, and his spirit blue silver grass? Though blue silver grass itself was weak, it wasn't likely to repel any other source of energy, but the energy in the man faced demon spider's spirit ring was too tyrannical as to make even the blue silver grass spirit unwilling to absorb it. Fortunately, when he started absorbing the spirit ring, he ate another one of Oscar's recovery sausages, or else his stamina would be the first to fail. Tang San's bones started to make concentrated cracking sounds. This not quite loud sound made everyone's hairs rise, as if Tang San's body could rupture at any second. From the pores, the blood that oozed out slowly gained another layer of gray. With the absorption of the spirit ring, the energy contained started a very forceful process of cleansing Tang San's body. The resulting pain was unimaginable. Finally, with Tang San's unyielding willpower, all the energy in his body started to give in, starting the process of merging. The fine beads of blood stopped oozing. Tang San's furrowed brows smoothed out. A dim layer of blue light started to creep out of his body. Zhao Wuji was elated. He succeeded. The most dangerous moment has passed. Now is the process of spirit power transforming. Tang San really is worthy of being called a creator of miracles. Even a 2,000-year-old man faced demon spider's spirit ring was absorbed by him. The unrivaled dragon serpent should really feel lucky. If their granddaughter absorbed the spirit ring, she would probably have burst by now. Along with the release of the blue blow, blue silver grass started slowly growing around Tang San. The blue silver grass's size hadn't changed much. Compared to before, it had actually become slightly thinner. Originally dark blue, it has also changed into purplish blue. That was a merged color, not showing in the form of patterns anymore. The blue silver grass was now about two fingers thick. The biggest difference from before was its luster, it looked as if the grass had been coated with a glaze. Zhao Wuji had everyone back up a bit. He knew, since Tang San couldn't fully control the newly gained power, so some spirit power could overflow. In Tang San's current state, he would be surprised if Tang San could control the energy. A.H. Just when everyone thought nothing else would happen, suddenly, Tang San's brows furrowed up again. A scream escaped his mouth, his cross-legged body starting to convulse violently. His chest suddenly stood out, his entire upper body arcing into the air, the display terrifying. Go. Xiaowu cried out quickly, tears streaming from her eyes. Her nails were already cutting into her palm, but she didn't even notice. Wuji was also surprised. What was wrong? Just when everyone was startled, suddenly, accompanying the sound of splitting cloth, the clothes on Tang San's back suddenly tore open. Standing behind him, Dai Mubai clearly saw, next to Tang San's backbone, on either side were eight fist-sized bulges. What was this? With Dai Mubai pointing it out, everyone discovered the change on Tang San's back. Tang San currently looked like he was withstanding immense pain. Blood started oozing out of his skin again, his entire body convulsing. Immediately afterward, the eight bulges suddenly ruptured. The strange thing was, Tang San's skin didn't peel back. 
Eight fist-sized dark purple objects came out of the nubs, growing with an astonishing speed. When the eight bulges broke and grew the dark purple objects, Tang San's entire body became relaxed, his expression smoothing out, but his body still convulsing. Under everyone's surprised gaze, the dark purple objects grew over a meter in the blink of an eye, and were still extending with frightening speed. When its length went past 1.5 meters, the end grew a joint-like thing, and the dark purple once again extended from the joint in another direction. This, this is. The eight dark purple objects continued to grow until they reached 3 meters. Completely shining purple, they looked extremely smooth. They were the thickest near Tang San's back, tapering until they filed into a sharp points at the end. Aren't these the legs of the man-faced demon spider? Looking at Tang San, and looking at the corpse of the man-faced demon spider, everyone discovered that the objects that grew out of Tang San's back looked very similar to the man-faced demon spider's legs. Only, they were slightly thinner overall and looked more lustrous, accompanied by a faint sweet fragrance. Zhao Wuji had personally seen many spirit masters absorb spirit rings, but this was still the first time he had seen such a scene, for a moment he couldn't help but lose the ability to judge. The bizarre scene still hadn't finished. As those eight spider legs on Tang San's back extended behind him, they began to slightly move rhythmically, the four lower spider legs slowly pierced the ground, unexpectedly lifting Tang San sitting cross-legged on the ground, raising him into the air. Tang San right now, like they were eight three-meter long arms, looked extremely strange. Tang San's body finally no longer convulsed, the clothes he wore were already completely shredded. Gradually, the previously spreading blue-silver grass slowly gathered back together, instead twisting around his body, bundling him in what resembled a large cocoon, with only the spider legs still moving slowly on the outside. The Shrek Academy group basically did not understand how this would happen, to them, right now all they could do was wait. Faintly within, they could only hear the sound of snapping bones echo from the cocoon. As for what was actually happening to Tang San, nobody could say. Ma Hongjun couldn't help but say. Tang San wouldn't change into a big spider, right? Xiaowu ferociously glared at him. Impossible. How would little San become a spider? These circumstances are certainly just because of some variation from absorbing the spirit ring. He definitely won't be in trouble. Even Xiaowu didn't know if she was reassuring the others or reassuring herself, waiting was currently all they could do. But, who could still have anticipated that their wait this time would be so long? When Oscar absorbed the spirit ring, from beginning to end only took a fraction of an hour to complete, but after Tang San was wrapped up in blue silver grass, it seemed like time congealed, continuously without any news. One double hour passed, two double hours passed, the color of the dark gradually went from dark to bright, and once more traveling from bright and entering darkness. A whole twelve double hour of waiting made everyone utterly exhausted. But who dared be careless, they could only wait. The one thing making them feel relieved was that the eight spider legs that had grown on Tang San's back moved constantly, showing traces of life. At Zhao Wuji's orders, everyone took turns to rest. Only Xiao Wu said anything to refuse, continuously keeping watch at Tang San's side. In her heart she silently prayed, praying Tang San must pass through this crisis safe and sound. And... A low groaning sound roused Xiao Wu's already somewhat fuzzy consciousness, she hastily raised her head to look. The slender blue silver grass slowly came undone, one by one rolling outward, gradually revealing their owner within. Tang San's body was covered by a dark brown layer, and as blue silver grass dispersed, this dark brown substance gradually came off his body like it was fruit peel, revealing the body inside. As Xiao Wu looked once again at Tang San, her charming face couldn't help but blush bashfully, Tang San currently didn't wear a strand, his whole body completely naked. The muscles on his body had unexpectedly become extremely distinct, and although they weren't bulging exaggeratedly, it gave off a feeling of brimming with strength. Under the bronze-colored skin there was a faint purple light haze moving around. Entirely floating in the air, the previously crossed legs had already unfolded, limbs sagging naturally, the entire person appearing to be permeated with a kind of demonic feeling. Part 2 In Tang San's disheveled black hair, several locks were bright purple, that purple hair in itself seemed to emit a similar light, making Xiao Wu see unusually clearly. The previous groaning was emitted by Tang San, right now, both his eyes just slowly opened, a completely bewildered expression within his eyes. Tang San himself also didn't know what had happened, he only continuously suppressed and endured extreme pain. The conviction to save Xiao Wu all along supported his willpower. As the extremely violent pain suddenly disappeared, a kind of difficult to describe relaxing pleasure spread throughout his whole body in a moment. The pain could be endured, but the instant the relaxing pleasure arrived after the extreme pain, Tang San's entire person in the end sunk into a deep sleep. As he once again recovered consciousness, it was the scene Xiao Wu had just witnessed. The scene before him was hazy, like it was shrouded in a layer of white cotton. Various kinds of senses gradually returned to the body, following his consciousness gradually awakening, the scenery before Tang San gradually became clear. His body was indescribably comfortable, like every single cell within the body was cheering excitedly, only somewhat itchy, rather like something was stretching out from his back. He was able to feel the moistness of the earth, and the brush of air surrounding him, but Tang San vaguely discovered, it seemed to have somehow become different. By now the others had also taken note of Tang San's changes. Zhu Zhu Qi and Ning Rongrong saw his naked body, and hurriedly bashfully turned away, not daring to look again. Although Xiao Wu was equally bashful, Tang San's safety was even more important to her, resisting the shyness in her heart, she still earnestly gazed at Tang San. Two yellow and one purple, three spirit rings revolved around Tang San moving rhythmically up and down his body, that purple spirit ring looked exceedingly clear, the purple shining within, setting of Tang San's naked body extremely clearly. But at Tang San's side all the blue silver grass already quietly faded away, only those eight three meter long enormous spider legs on his back still remained. Go. 
Xiaowu couldn't help but softly call out. The sudden voice made Tang San start. This voice was really too familiar to him, also one he longed for, subconsciously looking in the direction of the voice, just right to see Xiaowu looking up at him. Tang San trembled fiercely once at once wanting to leap at Xiaowu, but right now his body supported by four spider legs was floating in midair. Those spider legs themselves were part of his body, following his desire to move, the spider legs naturally accepted, pulling out from the ground. Tang San himself wasn't clear on the changes of his body, and he immediately entirely lost his balance, dropping from midair. Careful! Xiaowu cried out in alarm, extending both arms to catch Tang San's body. Fortunately her strength was good, the impulse of Tang San falling from two meters in the air couldn't be considered too great, and he was just caught well by Xiaowu. The eight spider legs simultaneously rose to his back, although they looked monstrous, they didn't at all affect Tang San's mobility. A familiar scent reaching his nose, Tang San practically at once moved his arms to embrace Xiaowu. I am not dreaming. Xiaowu, it's really you? Xiaowu held Tang San just as tightly, already sobbing wordlessly. Currently, Tang San's haziness from just awakening was already clearing. He was only too familiar with Xiaowu's scent, adding the warmth reaching him from the soft delicate body in his arms, he knew that this was all real, Xiaowu had returned, she had returned. Silly, don't cry, coming back is all well, coming back is all well. Lightly patting Xiaowu's back, Tang San also couldn't stop his eyes from misting up. All his worries melted away at this moment, the feeling of again seeing Xiaowu after what felt like a lifetime made his entire body tremble. Compared to Xiaowu, just now obtaining the third spirit ring counted as nothing, in his heart, nothing was more important than Xiaowu's life. Gu, it's all my fault, making you worry. Xiaowu said, choking with sobs. Tang San shook his head. Idiot, it was my fault, I who lacked ability, didn't protect you properly. Cough cough. Coughing sounds to the side made the simultaneously sad and happy pair wake up. The coughing was from Dai Mubai. Little San, although I admit, your means are very good, but aren't you at least putting on pants? After all there are still other girls present. Tang San looked blank a moment, subconsciously looking at his body, at this discovering that unexpectedly, he wasn't wearing even a strip of cloth. Xiaowu right now also came to herself, her charming face immediately blushing shyly. Hurriedly closing her eyes, but still reluctant to part with Little San's hug, nearly buried her head in his chest unwilling to lift it. This, how would I become like this? Who took off my clothes? Tang San stupidly asked. Oscar made his way over from the side. Nobody took off your clothes, who knows how they cease to be. Tang San felt at his waist, fortunately, 24 moonlit bridges was still there, at once hurriedly softly pushing away Xiaowu, he rapidly took out a set of clothes to put on. Wearing trousers still went well, but putting on his jacket was problematic. Tang San now discovered the unusual condition on his back. As he looked behind him at the eight pointy spider legs sprouting on his back, he couldn't help but stare blankly. Fatima Hong Jun with great understanding said. Don't ask us why it would be like this, none of us knows. This happened in the process of absorbing that man-faced demon spider spirit ring. Tang San, didn't that spirit ring cause variation for you? By now Tang San had at least put on trousers, so Ning Rongrong and Zhu Zhuqing also turned back around. After waiting for one day and one night, Tang San was now at last out of danger, but the change in his body was nevertheless so monstrous, it couldn't help but pique everyone's interest. Even Zhao Wuji was no exception. Let me sense myself at once. Tang San standing there slowly closed his eyes. Generally speaking, spirit masters after absorbing a spirit ring were able to sense what new spirit ability they possessed. Just like how Oscar when he had absorbed the third spirit ring immediately knew his third sausage spirit incantation. The pain Tang San endured in absorbing the spirit ring had been too great, to the extent that he had spent the latter half of the absorption changing process unconscious. Right now he could only search his soul to sense everything the third spirit ring had provided him. Tang San's meditation went on for no less than half a double hour. As he once again opened his eyes, his expression was somewhat strange. Well? Xiaowu anxiously asked. Tang San puzzled said. There should be no problem. The spirit ring wouldn't vary. Teacher once said, only a spirit varies, different spirits absorbing the same spirit ring would still give different results. I already obtained an ability from absorbing the man-faced demon spider's spirit ring. Everything is very ordinary. Only, I can't explain these eight spider legs on my back. Ayo. A miserable shriek suddenly erupted, everyone jumped with fright, believing it was a spirit beast attack, immediately on alert as they looked in the direction the screen came from, discovering no warning signs. Emitting the shriek was Ma Hong Jun, his right hand tightly holding his left hand, a painful expression on his face. His left hand was already becoming purple, furthermore the skin appeared damaged, with black liquid flowing down, a black chi rapidly spreading up his arm. Not good, he's poisoned. Oscar, quickly. Zhao Wuji shouted in a deep voice, in one stride reaching Ma Hongju inside, one palm directly slapping his shoulder, using his vigorous spirit power to help him suppress the poison invading his body. I your father have a small sausage. A dried small sausage was promptly delivered to Fatty's mouth. At this everyone breathed out. Unfortunately, their relaxation didn't continue for too long. Part 3 With the small sausage in his belly, the detoxifying effect showed in a moment, that flow of black chi following the arm upwards immediately stopped spreading, reversing direction. But this only continued for a very brief time, that black chi had not even passed Fatty's shoulder before it suddenly stopped decreasing, a moment later it unexpectedly once again spread upwards. Oscar's complexion changed greatly. 
Not good, my little sausage is unable to break up this poison, too fierce. Fatty, how did you manage to get poisoned? Big drops of sweat continuously rolled off Ma Hongjuan's forehead, clearly he was enduring enormous pain. Even though he had Zhao Wuji's assistance, the resisting effect of the two spirit power wasn't great enough, the black chi was still spreading, and Fatty's palm was even more already beginning to fester. From Fatty's scream up till now, only a short period of time had passed, that's all. That poison severity made everyone turn pale with alarm. Fatty while enduring the enormous pain with clenched teeth, with difficulty said. I was curious to touch one of the spider legs on Tang San's back and became like this. Tang San, those spider legs of yours are poisonous. Tang San startled, light flashing in his mind, suddenly recalling something. Fatty don't move. Everyone get out of the way, do not under any circumstances again touch the points of my spider legs. While speaking, he came before Fatty with one big stride, in spite of Fatty's palm already festering, he directly lifted the hand to hold it up. Right now, Tang San's palm in a moment changed into jade color. A bizarre scene appeared, even Oscar's small sausage was unable to remove the poison, but after Tang San's palm held Fatty's hand, it unexpectedly rapidly withdrew along its former path, dull dark purple liquid continuously flowing into Tang San's palm and disappearing unseen. In only the time of several breaths, Fatty's arm had already recovered to normal, the wound on the palm also beginning to disseminate bright red blood. What is after all going on here? Apart from Tang San this question simultaneously appeared in everyone's hearts. Seeing that Fatty was out of danger, Tang San also breathed out. He knew everyone had numerous questions, but was in no hurry to explain. After releasing Fatty's hand, with quick steps he arrived before that already dead man-faced demon spider, lifting his hand to press on it. The man-faced demon spider's corpse had by now already become completely gray, lacking any life force. Tang San only used a minute amount of spirit power, at once causing a concentrated series of cracking sounds. That man-faced demon spider's corpse unexpectedly shattered into fragments. I understand. Combined with his sense from the previous meditation, Tang San finally roughly understood the sequence of events. From now on, no one come into contact with the spider legs on my back, these spider legs contain the man-faced demon spider's poison. When I absorbed the spirit ring, for some reason, I also completely absorbed the man-faced demon spider's poison within my body. Why these circumstances would be like this perhaps we can only see if Grandmaster can clearly understand. Its most expert spiderweb and my blue silver grass should also based on the man-faced demon spider's spirit ring after mixing produce a certain variation. As for the actual degree of variation, I can only return to slowly experiment. All my attributes received a not inconsiderable upgrade, especially the two areas physical strength and speed. Spirit power also increased greatly, to my senses it's seemingly even more than 31st rank. Zhao Wuji asked. Then what's going on with these spider legs on your back? Tang San said with a wry smile. Like with absorbing all the man-faced demon spider's poison, I also don't know why something like this would occur. Those spider legs do not appear related to my absorbing the spirit ring. I'm able to control their movement, if only somewhat awkwardly. Dai Mubai said. Then can you withdraw them? You can't be like this always. People would consider you a monster. Tang San helplessly said. Aren't we all monsters? I'll try. While speaking, he condensed his spirit power and transmitted it to his spine. Issuing an order to those eight spider legs to recall. A bizarre scene appeared, those spreading open three meters long spider legs slowly folded, bending twice to fit closely together, afterwards bit by bit merging into Tang San's body. Tang San only felt some tickling on his back, nothing worth mentioning. During this process, the three spirit rings over his body all flared brightly. Tang San could clearly feel his spirit power being rapidly consumed. Evidently, putting away these spider legs required the support of spirit power to carry out. As no less than a third of Tang San's spirit power was consumed, all the spider legs finally completely merged into his back. Tang San could distinctly feel those eight spider legs had not disappeared within his body, rather than changing into eight bizarre energies, from his spine they fit in closely over eight of his ribs. If they can be put away it's fine. Zhao Wuji nodded to Tang San. These spider legs are quite good. If they truly are like the man-faced demon spider's spider legs, then, little Senior strength is at once even more powerful. Eight three meters long spider legs that can be controlled at will is completely equivalent to eight pikes. With the poison, if it's as poisonous as the man-faced demon spider, then it should be neurotoxin in addition to corrosive poison. From even little Ao's small sausage being unable to remove it, it can clearly be seen just how violent the poison is. Tang San all along pondered, the process of obtaining this man-faced demon spider spirit ring was extremely painful, at present having already finished absorbing it, the things he obtained were more than common spirit masters absorbing many spirit rings. Let alone the attributes themselves substantially improving, and possessing the ability he most hoped to obtain, and on his back these eight spider legs Tang San also didn't know whether he should be happy or concerned about. After all, he didn't know what consequences conditions like these would bring him in the future. Right now, Tang San even more missed his teacher, if Grandmaster was here, perhaps these questions could all be answered. Well, don't think about it right now, everything can wait until we return. Zhao Wuji wore a smile looking at these children before him, his mood greatly relaxed. Although this time we came across not a few inconveniences, and also went through danger a number of times, in the end we dealt with them. Oscar, Tang San and Xiao Wu have smoothly obtained spirit rings, and advanced to the spirit elder realm. The crop is certainly pretty good. It's also time to go back. Returning to Shrek Academy, we're setting off. Everyone cheered in chorus. The students had a number of times been in danger of death, now everything was already settled, and they were at last returning home. 
The seven students looked at one another, an intangible deep connection extending between everyone's hearts. Undergoing this time's visit to Star Doe Great Forest, whether obtaining spirit rings, or without obtaining them, right now the only thought was to return to the academy, comfortably lying down to sleep in their own beds. If saying that when coming here the seven were still somewhat estranged, then, by now their relationship had undoubtedly pulled much closer. The previously least accepted by everyone Ning Rongrong also used her actions to gain everyone's approval, and in the end between life and death she herself also felt the meaning of the word friends. Before a group even more outstanding than herself, what could she still feel superior about? Although some time had already passed, because of using spirit avatar, Zhao Wuji's strength only had 50% of his peak condition, therefore, everyone were still extremely careful while leaving Star Doe Great Forest. Not only were everyone provided with one of Oscar's mushroom sausages and recovery sausages, but also still maintained the most defensive formation. While walking out of Star Doe Great Forest, Xiao Wu recounted the story she previously told everyone to Tang San, also telling him about obtaining her third spirit ring. Xiao Wu, what is your third spirit ring ability? Tang San curiously asked. Xiao Wu giggled, saying, Secret, I'll tell you after we've returned. Little San, how did you kill that man-faced demon spider? At that time you were alone. Even if it was an injured man-faced demon spider, its attack power should still have been extremely terrifying. Moreover it was still venomous. Hearing Xiao Wu's question, Tang San suddenly started. Oh that's right, I almost forgot about it. Zhao Wuji, wait a moment before going on. By now, they were already approaching the edge of Star Do Great Forest, although they still saw some spirit beasts, for the most part they were 10 year and 100 year levels, no cause for concern. Zhao Wuji halted, looking at Tang San. What's going on? Tang San's right hand swiped at 24 moonlit bridges, taking out the Zhuga godly crossbow one. Xiao Wu mentioning killing the man-faced demon spider made him remember, that day his godly Zhuga crossbow had after being loaded twice not been discharged. If the mechanism was kept loaded for a long time, it would harm the crossbow's body. Fortunately, only one day had passed, right now there was still time to release the tension. When the godly Zhuga crossbow was loaded it must be relieved by shooting, this also was one of its drawbacks. Seeing the godly Zhuga crossbow in Tang San's hand, Xiao Wu suddenly understood. You used it to kill the man-faced demon spider. This thing's power is indeed formidable, the man-faced demon spider's eyes couldn't endure it. The others naturally heard Xiao Wu's words. Because they were previously in a tense situation, no one had paid attention to how the man-faced demon spider had died, afterwards Tang San also began absorbing the spirit ring and everyone were only concerned about his safety. Right now hearing Xiao Wu mention it, they recalled what kind of terrifying existence the man-faced demon spider was, looking at the godly Zhuga crossbow in Tang San's hands, it was hard not to show astonished gazes. Tang San used action to tell everyone how this godly Zhuga crossbow was used. After the business in Star Do Great Forest this time, in his heart he already acknowledged these companions. Mechanism type hidden weapons were also not Tang Sek's true secrets, he didn't care about concealing it. Raising his hand, aiming the godly Zhuga crossbow at a big tree to the side, Tang San moved the switch. Gabbing, gabbing, a successive mechanical sound resounded, everyone only felt a blur before them, immediately followed by a successive poo-poo sound echoing. How fast that momentary burst was the students couldn't say, even Zhao Wuji's expression changed. Among everyone, the fastest no doubt was agility attack type spirit master Zhu Zhu Qin, but even she reached the conclusion that she absolutely would be unable to escape from the kind of firing speed the godly Zhuga crossbow had. Everyone's complexions changed, looking dumbstruck at each other. As everyone reached the tree, they clearly saw, on that tree that would require three large men to encircle, right now already appeared two rows of altogether sixteen finger-sized little holes. Light shone through the holes, and one could see in one end and out the other. Zhao Wuji couldn't help but ask. Tang San, what is this thing? How did you make it? Tang San held up the godly Zhuga crossbow before its owner. I call it a godly Zhuga crossbow. It's a kind of extraordinarily potent mechanism type hidden weapon. Anyone could use it. Filled with 48 crossbow bolts, after each time the mechanism is set it can by the mechanism launch 16 bolts in a moment. Like just now. With the mechanism set it has to be shot, otherwise after the mechanism is stretched for too long, the crossbow will take damage. Because the strength of the mechanism included in this kind of crossbow is very great, even metal will be unable to easily endure it. This is also the drawback of the godly Zhuga crossbow. 1. Zhuga God Crossbow, Zhuga probably refers to Zhuga Leon, the supposed Three Kingdoms era strategist and supposed inventor of the repeating crossbow, 